G'day and welcome to a Dark Solo Game. Excuse me. Be quiet. I'm doing my introduction. G'day and welcome to a. Hang on. Right. G'day and welcome to Dark Solo Gaming and Seven Days to Die. We are back, continuing on from where we left off, and we're out here at the church or chapel or whatever the hell you want to call it, and we're going to break into here now and have some fun. Uh, there are going to be a, quite a few zombies in here. Uh, I know that from experience. Um, and I have died in here quite a few times as well. So, uh, don't worry. The chances are we could do it again. Right, nothing around in here. We want, Actually, I do want this stuff. So, I'm going quick, to just quickly just grab some of this. Just a stone. Makes it easier. Uh, and cross there. Right, there we go. That'll do. Right, now, here we go. Let's head in. Oh, it's unlocked, but we're going to break our way in. It's just funner that way. More funner. More fun. All right, security card. Uh, take that. Nothing else rounding through here. Nope. Okay. Let's go down and see what we can find. Now, this floor here will break away. But with our skills, we should. Right. Now, we want to see what we can find down here without just jumping into a whole pile of zombies. Right, down there. There we go. I knew there was one there. Go on there. Right. You, you. Oops. Right, there we go. Four down. Now, the thing about this place is there's also a whole pile of books. Now, we did read all the books that we collected in the last episode. Uh, so we do need to go through and just sort of look at what we've got and what we, where we currently stand with our, um, as I press the wrong button, where we stand with all of our books and the skills that are derived from the books. We'll go and review what we've got, uh, just so you can sort of see exactly what it does do for you. Um, no more up there. Good. Uh, where am I going? On its way. I got myself too dizzy then. Right. There we go. Take those ones. We're just going to take all the books and we're going to look at them when we get out and uh, review it, like I said. Um, go through here. No more books there. No books there. In here. There's some books there. Behind us. No books there. Right, none there. None there. And none there. Right. Good. I think that's most of the books sorted. Uh, yep. And empty. All right. That's them done. Right, let's uh, head back down in here and see what we've got in here. Uh, that's the stairs up. Right, oh, here we go. Down this way, wasn't it? Righto. Let's go have a look. Right, uh, I think what we might do... No, I'm right. I'm more right here, I think. I was thinking about putting a turret down, but I don't think I'm going to need to worry about that for the moment. Um, break this down. Search the coffins. Right. Oh, here we are. I don't know why I shoot to the wall then, but anyway. Alright, he's gone. She's gone. I keep saying he and it's a she. Alright, nothing in that one. Okay, now that's the stairs up. I don't want to go up yet. Uh, so I might go back this way. Let's see how many friends we've got over here. Okay. Right, now there. Empty the coffins again. More ammo. It's really just find ammo in the coffins and not bodies. Um, for those who are a bit squeamish, it makes it much, much more appealing. All right, uh, I'll take those. In fact, good taking this, the thread as well. Uh, I'll take that. Yes. All right, uh, and there, brass. Right. 
Uh, done that one. Uh, a little bit of ammo there. The priests and all that in this uh, church must have been gearing up well and truly. So uh, that's okay. Right. Uh, we've done that. Right, I think we'll go up the stairs here, see what we can find now. Right. Uh, right. Bit of activity. All right. Coffins. Oh, hello. Right. Catch that, he said. All right, here we go. We've got more ammo. Excellent. Now, uh, so that's what happens when you run around corners. Right. They're cleared. Oh, bag up here. What's in the bag? Nothing as usual. Right. Come back around through here. Oops. Oh. Right. See, so we weren't ready. Again, we torn, <laughs> turned around the corner. Turned around the corner. Gun was empty. And we got hit. Right. Round we go. Up we go upstairs. We're going to back up to the main level now where we actually came in. And we are. And that's it. I think we're done. Uh. Hmm. Where was anything down there to get? All right. Just go up and see what's upstairs first. She was obviously just enjoying playing with the uh, guard rail. Right, clear him out. Any more for any more? Who else is down here? A couple of them trying to get in somewhere. There they are. All right, let's have some fun. Um, pipe bomb will do. Uh, eight. All right, let's uh. It's just a revolving door that's just going up, falling down. So at this point in time, it's just free XP. Like an old turkey shoot, isn't it? All right. They all finished? Right, now as I said, there are quite a few down below and I can't remember where they've come in. Um, but it's okay, we'll, we'll just continue on. Uh, okay. We can drop down if we want to there. We up through here. I think we're going to break through here. Uh, oh, that would swap it out for a pipe bomb, and that wouldn't be a pretty sight. Okay, uh, there. Go down back down here. Case. Oh, where's this going to go? Down here. Oh, there's a safe down here, which is great. Crack open the safe. Oh, breaking my lockpicks. That's not good enough. Ah, right. 
Let's go have a drink. Right, let's let's have a look at our skills. Uh, lock picking. Right, let's uh, let's just advance that a little bit, and now we'll pick the lock. Now it doesn't mean we're going to be guaranteed to open it first time every time with a lock pick. Uh, what it does do though is it means that we've got a higher chance to do it and less chance of breaking our picks. Right, don't need that stuff there. Uh, in the cabinet, take that stuff there. Get through there. Shoot our way up through there. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. We've cleared that out. Uh, nothing else there. This is where we had our, our friends. So we've come up through there. So I don't know where they came through and where they were, but anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll uh, continue on unabated. Uh, search wooden desk untouched. Nothing there for us. Uh, what was that? The confessional, wasn't it? Is that what they call it? Confessional? As you can tell, I'm not a religious type person. Um, in here. A desk. Uh, we'll take the bandage for sure. Uh, I think I've already got a BDU top on, haven't I? Yeah. So that doesn't matter. I... No, don't need that. Right. Through here, nothing there, nothing there. Right, that's outside we need to go. Uh, up. Hmm. Right, need to find an exit. That'll do. We just make our own exits and entrances. All right, done. Let's go over here. Now, this house over here is definitely what we want to get to because it's got uh, all the building material around it. So we're going to swap out our pipe bomb. Uh, where's my st I'm still shovels there. I want to put the pick back here. Like that. And I want to go like this. And we want to collect all this stuff. Race around here. Now, it's uh, 10 to 8 at night. So we're going to finish collecting all this stuff here. And then we're going to head back to our base. There. What we need to do as well is we need to either make or find a uh, cement mixer. Down there, like that. Uh, let's see if there's any fuel in here. A bit of fuel there. A bit of fuel there. No fuel there. Okay. Um, it's all well and done. I'm going to climb up. And go across. Up and load up. Say hello to our friends in here. All right. Well, no, we'll take the glue actually. All right. And, yep, need that for our forge. We'll make a forge. I'll take that and take that. All right. Down we go. Uh, oh, that wasn't a good idea, was it? So what's that when you waste your bullet? You wreck your gun. Take his arm off. Try swinging that hammer now, champ. All right, in here we go. Uh, nothing in here really for us, per se. Uh, we will take the crate. Uh, yeah, we'll take, and we'll take the claw hammer. Yep. And we'll go back here. Click that. That's all good. Right. Done there. Uh, it's 8.30. I think what we might do... In fact, right, what we might do is we might just clear out another one of these buildings. And we'll spend the night there. Shade Tree Auto. Uh, let's go over here. I feel like to find the houses that have got all the building material around it. I think this one might have some. Let's go upstairs. Come in through the roof. Right. I'm a bit thirsty. A bit dehydrated. Right. So now we're going to be coming in here. Actually, what I'm going to do first is let's repair this. 
if we happen to get a swarm of zombies during the night, we need to be uh, well prepped, ready to go. Uh, now, with this game as well, there are, <clears throat> I think we've mentioned it, we have mentioned it previously, definitely. Um, but there's a whole swath of updates that are coming out regularly for this game. Um, and certainly what's coming out soon is, is no different. There's a big uh, change to, I think they're actually changing the graphic engine, possibly. Um, but the, the quality of all the items uh, that are coming out, the re-rendering of the zombies and all that sort of stuff looks fantastic the details just getting better and better now and this game don't let's not forget this game was released in 2013 and it's still in early access yeah, okay some would say well why is it still in early access blah 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 well i don't mind that so much being in early access because they're saying well the game's not finished which is fine uh, there's still problems with it but they're still developing it and you're getting to play it as they develop it um and really um as much as i thought when my good mate jimmy j jj uh, introduced me to this game, I thought, ah, oh. well, actually, let's, let's take a step back. So, Jimmy used to play this game, and if you don't know Jimmy, Jimmy's a member of our Discord, and he's my, my right-hand man in my Discord channel, um, and uh, we're good mates, even though he is from New Zealand, um, New Zealand, and he was uh, complaining quite a few times about, and asking lots of people if in, in my Discord and others, if they played um, Seven Days to Die. So, I'll admit, in a way, I sort of felt a bit sorry for him. I thought, oh, well, look, let's let's give this game a go and um, and see what it's like. So we can at least play with Jimmy sort of thing. And we did that. And Jimmy and I have spent many, many hours in here together. Uh, and I've spent many, many hours in the game solo as well. Um, so really, really enjoyed it. It was a, a bit of a find that I didn't think I was going to like. But you never know till you try it, as the saying goes. So uh, we tried it, and we liked it. Right, now we're about to flip on over to night time. So we need to be ready to go with the AK because uh, things are going to get ramped up while we're running around at night. Right, there we go. Unlock. Over here. No. Right, let's go. We're going to try and clear this out as best we possibly can before night time, though. Right, uh, did that. Right. Nothing there. Right. The other thing is, we don't have a light, but remembering. Our gamut is turned up a fair bit, uh, just so we can see what's going on at night. Otherwise, it'd be almost in pure darkness. I'm not going to click the books we already have in that regard. Oh, didn't I finish you off? Right, let's uh, take some water. Let's uh, take some decent food. Right, and now... Oops, I'm going to jump in here and grab this stuff here. Now it's a cracker book, so we can crack that open. Pardon the pun. That, and what have we got in there? Another book. Right, so now we're going to go stealth mode. So we're going to oh, need to reload. Uh, I've got 17 crossbow bolts. So if we find too many uh, zombies, we could be in trouble. Right, let's make sure that's loaded, ready to go. Right, and off we go. Let's see what we've got down here. Slow and steady wins the race and make sure you don't die to zombies. Now this is where you sort of start to wonder if the floor is going to cave in. Right, so as you can see, they're a little bit quicker at night. Right. Right, okay, we got that. It's 
surprised I got her for one shot because normally she takes two shots to get. Anyway, it's all right. We'll uh, we'll take it. I'm going to quickly just take everything and sort it out later. Fridge. Not fridge? What's fridge got? No, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, oven. No, no, I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, actually, I don't know if I've got a grill. Have I got a grill? I have now. Alright, uh, around through here. I think that's it. I think we've cleared it out, have we? It's the garage. Right. Okay, let's uh, click this. Just looking at the time for the video so far, just to sort of see where we're at. That door's locked. If I try and break through, that's going to wake everyone up and bring them in. Toolbox, uh, take those. Well, that has broken them up, nothing will. Hunting wabbits. Ah, oh, basement, here we go. Well, lots of building material in there, which is good. That's what we wanted. Where are your buddies coming from? So it'd be nice to have a torch. Well, here we go. Uh, one for you, one for you. From there, that was interesting. <laughs> that was very interesting. Two headshots to kill those two. These two were standing right on top of each other, sort of obviously spawned on, on top of each other, and they didn't move. Fantastic, even though there was an AK 47 shot of them at point blank range. Right, let's take that. We're going to take the bipod bags getting full, uh, take the bandages, weapons bag here. Oh, excellent. A scope. That's what we need. Uh, more dynamite. Dynamite's always good to blow things up. Uh, we'll take the mods. I don't need that mod. I've already got it. Take the batter up. Take the ammo. Uh, that's about it for there. Uh, let's open these boxes up now. All right. Let's open them up. That's what we got. So we got some painkillers and some paper, uh, grain alcohol. I'll take that because it is used for making some medical stuff. We may need it at some point. Uh, wire tool, we don't anything else there. And don't need any of that either. So uh, that's it. Let's uh, move on out. Is there any building material there? No. So let's uh, grab the building material. All right, off we go there. Oh, no more there. From there. Some more down here. Now, I'm collecting this because this will make us give us the ability to um, upgrade our walls to concrete walls and reinforce concrete walls, uh, which obviously makes them a lot stronger and more resistant to the zombie horde. Um, right through there, there's nothing there. Right, so it's up in through here now. 
Right. Take these out. Thankfully, she didn't know where I was either and walked straight past. Right, weapons bag, empty that out. Uh, yep, take that, take that. Our knife, what was our knife? A lower level, so we'll take that. Um, don't need that stuff. That's it, the bottom out here is clear. So we're just gonna take this lot. All right, back to our AK. And I think we can start sort of moseying on out of here. What we might do is I might just close this door here. And uh, right, what we're going to do? Let's have a bit of a look. So while we've got the ability to, uh, we can come in through there, I guess. Let's have a look in here. So let's uh, have a look at our books. We're going to learn all our books while we're here. Uh, so these are all ones we haven't learnt. So we've got a fair few, which is good. Few that we have learnt, so we're not getting anything out of that. We're just uh, clearing our bag. So uh, there's all our knives. We don't need that many knives, but anyway. Uh, in fact, what we'll do is we'll scrap, 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 and scrap. Uh, wrenches will leave for now. Um, okay, right. So let's have a look at our skills and our books. So as you can see here, we've started sort of getting our books populated, um, and the other side here. So for instance, let's have a look at the automatic weapon handbook, which is pretty important to us. Um, so learn from top military expert Sarge Barton how to shoot, maintain, and maximize your skill with 7.62 millimeter automatic weapons. Reading books will unlock permanent perks. Read all the volumes in a series and receive a special collector's perk. So, so far we've got automatic weapons do 10% more damage. Fantastic. Fully automatic mode does 1% more damage per hit. Uh, we've got fully automatic fire is more accurate with each shot fired. And fully automatic mode has increasing chance to ragdoll an enemy with each hit. So once we get these other two, which is automatic weapons have 20% less degradation, which would be really good. You can craft drum magazine mods for automatic weapons. That's okay, but it does slow down your, your reload time. Craft M60 machine guns. They're pretty good too in a, in a zombie horde as long as you've got lots of ammo. Now, the important one, which is your, your boost at the end. Each kill boosts your run speed by 20% for 20 seconds. So run and gun is, is quite a good option once you get that. Uh, for urban combat, armor doesn't slow you down when in combat. That's handy. Uh, sniper, what have we got for sniper so far? We can craft the HP 7.62 millimeter ammunition. Nice, but I'd like the AP one as well. Shotgun Messiah, you can craft shotgun slugs. That's really handy. We'll, we'll see that a little bit later on, the difference between a shotgun, the shotgun slug though, and also um, the breaching ammunition, which is this one here. Um, it's fantastic. You, you end up destroying whole buildings. Uh, so Pistol Pete, 9mm weapons have 20% more range when sighted. Uh, e successful leg shot, pistols and SMG, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's have a look at what else we've got. Art of Mining. Um, you can craft Black Strap, a super strong coffee. You can craft basic resources like ore into compact stacks. In fact, I haven't even looked at Black Strap. Hmm, I have to go look at that. Uh, Fireman's Almanac. 10% hyperthermal protection, increase attack speed with axes at 5%, do 10% more damage to coal and burnt wood. All that sort of stuff. So that's what we started getting. So that's, uh, that's great. All right, but that's it for this episode. So what we're going to do is we're going to stay here. We're going to sit through the rest of the night. And when we return, we are going to continue on with day six. And we're going to continue clearing off these buildings where we are now. And then we're going to head back at some point very soon, probably, <clears throat> probably for day seven, and we'll start doing some upgrading and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so until then, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to press that like button if you like the episode. And don't forget to come and join us on Discord. And also, if you wish, support us on Patreon. Links for both are down below. And of course, if you're not already a subscriber to the channel and you've just come across us, then please, 
please press the subscribe button and also press the alarm notification icon as well to make sure you're made aware of when new videos are available on the ser on the service as in YouTube. <laughs> and until next time, keep those gun sights up and aimed and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Ducks All Gaming and Seven Days to Die. Take care. See you all later. Bye.